Today, we are going to talk about nanotechnology. When we say something is nano, we mean it is very small. The size of one nanometer is one billionth of a meter, which is about 100,000 times smaller than the width of a human hair. Making new things at this incredibly small scale is called nanotechnology, and it's one of the most exciting and fast-moving areas of science today. Some nanomaterials are naturally occurring. You can find them everywhere, in volcanic ash, ocean spray, fine sand and dust. Naturally occurring nanostructures are also present in plants and animals. For example, nanostructures in insect eyes ensure an anti-reflection and water repelling effect, so they can fly safely. Nowadays, scientists can create nanostructures themselves. By rearranging the atoms of an object, they can make new nanomaterial with new properties. For example, that are stronger, lighter or different in color. The properties change also according to their size. And this is the magic of the technology. In the food area, researchers are working with nanotechnologies to create novel products that may be of benefit to health and diet. For example, nanosilver has antibacterial properties that can be used in food contact material, such as cutting boards. In food supplements, nano-sized carriers increase absorption of nutrients. Nanosensors can be incorporated into packaging to monitor the quality and shelf life of food from manufacturers to consumers. It can also make food ingredients tastier or healthier Carving up a grain of salt into small nano-sized grains increases its surface area significantly. This means that your food needs far less salt to be equally tasty. This is good news for those who like crackers but are worried about their blood pressure. We need to make sure that food nanotechnologies do not cause harm to consumers. This is why in the EU, Engineered nanomaterials in food require a safety assessment. Their specific properties need to be taken into account when assessing impact on human health and the environment. And this is where EFSA comes in. Over the coming years, nanotechnology will touch the lives of all of us. Like many scientific advances, it brings uncertainty and potential risks. It is up to scientists, business and governments to make it work.